I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Okay. Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we are going to be renoing another room. So we did our bedroom, which you guys saw. Um, I did the filming room and I did not film that just because it was very repetitive and there wasn't really anything different than the bedroom. Also, like remodeling and stuff is like very stressful anyway. So to have to like pick up the camera every time I do something when there's like dust and arsenic infested wallpaper everywhere you know it's a lot harder to vlog things while you're dirty and messy and wet and sticky it's just like a lot so i decided to do the filming room not on camera but i will show you what it looks like now that it's done i still have to hang up the backdrop and stuff so you can see how nice all the walls are they're super smooth really really nice i'll put some before and afters in here of what the wall looked like so you guys can see what it looked like before it was textured it had lines all over it oh, it was a hot mess so we only have one bedroom left to do finally i swear every time we start a new uh bedroom i'm just like i hate my life all over again i'm like i can't do this anymore like i want to kill myself it's ridiculous but that's okay we only have one more bedroom left to do it's the smallest bedroom out of the bunch it's a very small room so i feel like it should be easier than the rest also, this room was easier than the bedroom because there was so many cracks in the wallpaper and there were so many areas where the wallpaper had lifted. It made it a lot easier to peel up the wallpaper. And the little bedroom is even worse than this room is. So there's a lot of lifting in that room where the wallpaper was. So I think it's gonna be the easiest room so far. And again, it's smaller, so it should go by a lot quicker. Our plan was to replace the carpet in that little bedroom. I'll show it to you in just a minute but there is carpet in that bedroom and that's the only bedroom that has carpet and so we were going to just replace it because it's very old and stained when we bought the house it was just very very old not nice carpet so since it was a small room we were like why don't we just find some discount carpet and just replace it so a couple days ago i went in there and i peeled up the carpet to see what was underneath and of course it was not just one layer of carpet there was hardwood floors at the very bottom. Then there was a layer of carpet. Then there was a layer of linoleum on top of the carpet. And then there's the padding and then the carpet that's currently there. So there is layers and layers of flooring in that room. Similar to the wallpaper. Instead of just removing what was there, they just keep piling on top of it and say, eh, not my problem. Future homeowners can deal with that. So here I am dealing with it <laughs> once i peeled back the flooring in there and i saw that there was nice hardwood floors i was like uh, i'm not about to cover this up with carpet again so we are going to keep the hardwood floors that are in there which saves us a few hundred dollars like it's gonna save us a bunch of money tomorrow is aaron's last day of work and then he has a week off so we're going to do a lot of the rest of the home renos we have to do during that week since he'll be off all the time oh just don't mind my cat he's you know the boss here Mimi, okay, 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 I get it. Mimi, stop, <laughs> stop, you're ridiculous. We went to Lowe's a couple days ago and we got crown molding. We got some really nice crown molding that we're gonna put up during this week. So I don't know if I'll film that, but I might. Uh, we have to put crown molding in all three of the bedrooms. I got these really cute corner blocks for the corners of the rooms. Um, it makes putting up crown molding a lot easier. That way you don't have to cut the 45 degree angle and line them up. And for older homes like this, the walls aren't gonna be perfectly even like it would be in a newer home that has drywall instead of plaster. Plaster walls are notorious for being uneven. So if we were to try and get those 45 degree angles and line them up, it would be a lot harder because the walls are uneven and we would have to go around with a bunch of caulk and like fill in all the little gaps. So having those corner blocks will uh, work better with the plaster walls and it will also make our life a lot easier because we don't know what we're doing. We've never done any of this before. So we're learning as we go along and I learned that those corner blocks make crown molding a lot easier. So let's go into the little room and I will show you what we're working with. One thing I forgot to tell you, I just walked into the small bedroom and I saw and forgot to tell you that 
this back bedroom was different than the other two we have so this one again had carpet but it also had a drop ceiling uh, which we thought was weird so we decided to pop the ceiling tiles and see why there was a drop ceiling in this room turns out at some point there was water damage done to the ceiling the water damage obviously got fixed um, but instead of stripping the wallpaper off uh, sanding it down filling any gaps or anything they literally decided to install a drop ceiling instead of peeling off the wallpaper on all of the walls because the wallpaper was not just on the walls it's also on every ceiling in the bedroom i'm talking layers upon layers so let me show you what i'm talking about okay <laughs> this is wild okay so here is the current filming room floor here is the flooring that's underneath in the small bedroom so here is the smaller bedroom. Now let me show you the ceiling. <laughs> okay, so there was originally a drop ceiling installed here. You can see it's like a foot lower than the ceilings in like this room. So because there was water damage at some point over here, which again, it's fixed, so I'm not worried about it. Obviously, there is no more water damage. <laughs> they fixed the problem and it's dry and everything's fine. But because there's wallpaper on the ceilings and on the walls, and the water damage obviously caused the wallpaper to lift, instead of peeling all this off and repairing the cracks, sanding it, painting it, they decided they were gonna spend the money <laughs> on a drop ceiling. Are you kidding me? That's so much harder, I feel like, than just peeling off the wallpaper and fixing the problem. Like, I don't understand why homeowners do stuff like this. Like, you didn't fix this. You literally left wallpaper hanging off the ceiling and spent money on a drop ceiling instead of just peeling this off, which would have costed nothing. So I don't get it. Obviously, you can see we like popped almost all the ceiling tiles down. They're over here now, um, and they're kind of heavy. They're not as light as I thought they would be. Um, now let me get to the flooring. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness you guys this is ridiculous we have the original hardwood then we have this layer of carpet that i'm guessing is from the 1800s it looks like it's from the 1800s i actually think it's it's pretty the material of that carpet seems like it's from the 1800s just like the thread that was used and stuff hello bubba thank you for helping mommy yes you're so sweet you're gonna help me today so that was the first layer then we have this beautiful laminate so all of this green stuff right here is not part of the uh, linoleum flooring that is uh from the padding they put glue on the padding obviously and glued it down so when i tore it up layer by layer some of the like padding dust was stuck on the old linoleum so this is like what the old linoleum looked like that's the pattern right there i don't know what year this was from so then on top of that we have the green foam pad and then this is the current carpet and you might think this carpet isn't bad but there is a lot of stains and there's like bleach marks on it from i don't know why so it does need to come up and i found these beautiful hardwood floors and in the closet the hardwood floors are in there too so it's going to be nice to have the hardwood floors matching in that room and in this room and so i just bought a throw rug to put right here on top of the hardwood floors and it's crazy because when i pulled up all of the um flooring that was layered here you can see the trim around the corner flooring was stacked so high i couldn't even paint the quarter round trim that's right here so you can see all of this is still wood colored because of how high the flooring was layered and stacked so i'm gonna have to go through and paint all of this right here because again flooring was stacked so high it was covering part of the trim which is insane i don't understand why people don't just peel up the old stuff before putting new stuff down but don't worry i'm here to do it I'm here to do it all. We've got a lot of stuff to do. Obviously, this isn't just gonna take today. I'm gonna be doing this um, probably for like three or four days. I'm averaging like two and a half days per room. The other rooms were bigger, but this one has more stuff that needs to be done. First step we're gonna do is um, move everything out. So I'm gonna flip all this back down, and then I need to move all of this stuff out of the room, put it in here, and then we can start peeling up the flooring. Once I have everything out of here, I can start peeling up the flooring and rolling it out and getting it out of here. There could possibly be damage and stuff to the floor on this half of the room. 
I wanted to peel all of this back to make sure the flooring was good and it looks really, really nice and in good condition. Um, probably because there was four layers of carpeting covering it and protecting it for 150 years. But the flooring over here might not be in as good of condition. I need to peel up the rest of the flooring and make sure that all of this hardwood is usable all throughout here. If not, we'll just go ahead with our original plan and put carpet back over. I have to wait until my husband gets home to do any of this. So for now, I'm just going to focus on peeling off the wallpaper on the bottom portion of the walls. And then when he gets home, we can remove all of this up here because it's being hung by hooks in the ceiling. And this light has been lowered. You can see it was originally up there. They installed a cable to lower the light. So we're gonna have to put it back up. There's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done. So I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> Disgusting, gross. Nasty, this is why we are tearing it up. Okay, let me show you what I've done because I've done a lot. Feels like I haven't done anything, but I have, so let me show you. So I have ripped all the flooring out, which actually took longer than I thought it would. So all the flooring is now gone. Um, and the ceiling, I took down some more of these like bra bracket things on the ceiling and I just started chipping away at the wallpaper in here. I forgot to tell you guys, we have ceiling tiles that we're gonna put up here. Um, we have matching ceiling tiles in both other bedrooms. So I just purchased some more and we're gonna do this ceiling with the ceiling tiles. Oh, I'm pretty exhausted. I've been doing this all day. It's a lot more work when you're doing it by yourself. Like thankfully my husband is gonna have a week off so he'll be able to help me a lot more. And he always tells me, he's like, just wait until I get home and we'll do it together but i'm not that type of person like i'm trying to get it done sooner so that way my filming room doesn't look like this because living like this stresses me out i hate my house to be a mess and like oh okay it's the last room though so i just have to keep reminding myself it's the last room it's gonna be all right and as soon as this room's done everything else we're doing is very easy i'm gonna take a little break now i might honestly wait for my husband to get home i'm not sure I don't know. I might even be done for today. I don't know. I know I'm gonna go sit and relax for a minute and think about it. All right, so we are done for the day. Um, I feel like I got a decent amount done, not as much as I would have gotten done if I was in go mode, but I'm, you know, I'm slowing down. This is room number three. It's taking me a little longer to do things. I get exhausted a little bit easier and I am ready to take a shower. I feel disgusting, <laughs> like I'm covered in nasty dust and dirt and all types of things. So I'm ready to shower. Let me show you what I got done before I end the vlog. Before I show you the after, I just want to remind you where we started. Here is the flooring all still intact. You can see all the wallpaper is still on the walls. I'm just showing you the imperfections in the wall here so you can see how bad all of the texture is. If you see in the corner here where the wallpaper is starting to lift, it's really, really bad in the corners especially. And then here is just the regular wall right here. I'm showing you the lines. On every single wall, there are those line seams. Here is the water damage, and here's the after. Okay, so we tore up all the four layers of carpet and linoleum. I started scraping some of the walls. I removed everything from the walls and everything out of the room. I took down the rest of the ceiling tiles that I could, other than that one that's holding the light up, and I took down more of the rods. I started scraping the ceiling a little bit, and I started scraping some of the walls over here also so that's what i got done today there's still a lot to do but that's okay i'm gonna go relax and take a shower for the evening and i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog bye